Are you curious about what it's like to live in Boca Raton, Florida? Well, I have it just for you. Stay tuned, it's coming up next. Hi there and welcome to Living the Fort Lauderdale Lifestyle. I am Scott Newbrecht and today I'm taking a look at what it's like to live in Boca Raton, Florida. I am here at the beautiful inlet in Boca. I'm so excited to share with you what it's like to live here. Let's get started. One thing I absolutely love about Boca is the landscaping. Just take a look at the beautiful pruned trees here. It's like this almost everywhere you go in Boca. Look at the beautiful royal palms on the left there in the center. I mean, everything just looks absolutely exclusive like Boca. Another thing I love about living in Boca is the city ordinances that keep all of the signage for businesses down on the ground at eye level like this McDonald's sign. You'll see it up here with this gas station as well. So everything is uniform and very orderly and maintained looking. One of the entrances to St. Andrews, very exclusive, the most exclusive uh, country club and area for homes in the Boca area. And you can just look at the beautiful landscaping that is set at the boundaries for this lovely exclusive area. This is St. Andrews from above and that is Clint Moore Road where I was driving just a little bit ago. There's the country club area. The top of the screen is the ocean. That is the turnpike and there is 95. So that gives you an idea of where it's situated. As we pan in on the footprints of these homes, you can see from the rooftops, these are very large homes many of them have their own pools and they're situated on a golf course boca is home to lynn university and florida atlantic university as well boca also has its own executive airport but don't get too excited about booking your commercial flights to and from boca this particular airstrip is reserved mostly for the who's who of the boca area so they can land in their private jets Town Center at Boca Raton has been an exclusive shopping destination in the South Florida area for many decades. Boca is also the home to Meisner Park. This is an exclusive boutique area mingled with shops and restaurants. Meisner Park is just an absolutely beautiful place to shop with exclusive stores and restaurants and bars. And this is Max's Grill, very well-known uh, hotspot here in Meisner Park to eat. And at the northern end here is the amphitheater where I have come to see people like Boy George. And this is one of my favorite streets. It's called Camino Real and it heads right toward the ocean and the inlet and it's just absolutely beautiful with large stately homes on one side and beautiful palm tree lined in the middle. And it's also on the entrance to, or leading up to the entrance of the Boca Raton Resort, which I will show you in just a second. And that is the tower at the Boca Raton Resort. Very well known and you can spot it quickly by its light pink paint job and it kind of just towers above everything around it. Very exclusive resort for people who want to belong to a country club-like atmosphere here in Boca, right near the ocean. Let's take a look at the Boca Raton Resort from above. It's situated on Lake Boca. This is a premier address and it's just absolutely beautiful. There's the tower I was talking about. That's where I was in my car. Um, let's just pan in here a little bit and just take a look at the size of this place. Look at all of those tennis courts and the multiple pools. And as you can see here, it's situated right on this lovely body of water, which is basically the entranceway to the inlet here, as you can see, and then out to the ocean. I'm now driving over the bridge that goes right over the inlet here. That's Lake Boca. And then on the left there, you can see the tower of the Boca Raton Resort that we were just talking about. Here is the opposite view of the inlet looking out toward the ocean. 
And as you can see, an absolutely beautiful view right by South Inlet Park. So let's go back up above here so I can give you some more um, explanation of where we are and what's going on. This is the area where I did my intro uh, video for this particular film. There's the inlet and here's the beach. And just north of the inlet, there are high rises for only a few blocks and then it stops. And that is one thing that is a selling point for Boca. This is the area right at the end of Palmetto Park Road at dead ends right at the beach. And then after that, going to the north, it's all natural parks and preserved areas. So there are no high rises and cement looming over you. And that is the best selling feature of living in Boca. You have just this natural beach and coastline here where you can enjoy yourself and experience the pristine beaches the way they were meant to be. I am now traveling north on A1A slash Ocean Boulevard, north from the inlet area. Palmetto Park Road dead ends right into South Beach Pavilion Park area. And this is A1A in Boca Raton, folks. And this is why uh, this is such a unique place to live. There are no high rises here along the beach. You're looking at the beach here on the right. It's all preserved. A lot of natural areas and parks and it is just so unlike any other place in South Florida where everything is just overridden with cement and high-rises just look at the beauty of really what's Ocean Boulevard here in Boca and this is Red Reef Park another park here in Boca right on the ocean so there's plenty of places to go and have fun at the beach and you're not surrounded by high-rise cement buildings. Just look at this beautiful lush greenery that borders the ocean and the beach area. Let's take a look at Boca Raton real estate. There are 1,309 listings total currently in Boca. The most expensive is $41.5 million. And if we reverse the search, the lowest costing one is an entry of 85,000. However, all of these listings here are for 55 and older communities, I can tell by the description. And if we forward beyond that, it appears you can get into a condo for around 180,000. If you would like your own personalized real estate search in the Boca Raton area, please contact me. My information is below under the show more tab. If you liked this video and found it helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, take a look at some of my other videos of what it's like to live here in the South Florida area. Be sure to give them a thumbs up as well. As always, you know I love to hear from you, so drop a comment below. And until the next video, see ya.